when I want to dye my string, uh, what I started doing lately is, uh, like I did this one in black and this one in red, I use, and it's an all-in-one, it's got vinegar in there, it's got the dye in there, it's got salt in there, it's a powder. I just take a big old bin and uh, fill it up with water, not cold water, not hot water, you know, kind of like 30 degrees Celsius, which is like, what, 90 Fahrenheit? And I dunk my little uh, discs for uh, button string, or I can do it with bot uh, body string, whatever. I dunk them in there, and I leave them in there, and I take them out, and whenever I'm satisfied with the result, then I take it back out, and I let it dry. And then from this, I cut my soga. So, my soga is going to look like this. Now, the point is, to me, and that is what I like the best, if I, from this soga, if I cut a string, and I do my beveling right, you got that nice, wide line here on both sides of your string, which, to me, just gives it more character to the string and makes your final braid look better.